Hi everyone. As promised, today we're learning the building blocks of creating any design from simple to complex in linearity curve. Basics like creating simple shapes, the most elemental gestures, and the selection tool with all its modes. And we're going to complete this simple landing page design in the process. So what I think we're missing here are some shapes that bring all these elements together. First up, let's add a simple circle pattern behind the text. We're going to select our desired color from the color widget. And then pick the ellipse from the list of preset shapes that are part of the shape tool. Select it and then drag and release anywhere on the canvas. Since we want a perfect circle, let's delete this with the delete key and try again. To preserve our shape's proportions, all we need to do is hold the shift key while dragging. Now we have what we need. If you want to resize or change the position of your shape, then pick up the selection tool. Either click on it or press V. Notice that we have these 8 blue points that allow you to manipulate your shape in any direction. If you want to undo any action, a classic command Z will do the trick. Because we actually want to scale the shape proportionally, let's use the same shortcut from before. You may have noticed this green bubble here which you can also use to scale proportionally. But the cool thing about it is that it scales all the shape attributes proportionally as well. So if I give my shape a stroke by turning on this toggle, then when I scale my shape up and down, the stroke will change accordingly and looks good no matter the size. As a comparison, here's how it looks when scaling without holding the green dot. Alright, I want to remove my stroke and this is just about the size I'm looking for. In order to make a pattern, I will need more than one shape. So let's duplicate it a few times. We can do that by holding down the option key and dragging and dropping our object wherever it needs to be. Once we have a full row down, let's make sure the shapes are aligned and distributed equally by clicking these two buttons here. All other alignment options are at your disposal in this section. And grouping will also help with what's next. Grouping basically allows multiple shapes to act as a unit. Now let's select our group and move it down while pressing option once again. But since we want them to be aligned, we can already press option and shift at the same time instead. Finally, distribute horizontally. And now our pattern is done. To place them in the back, simply go to layers and move them behind the text with drag and drop. Let's add some more circle to our design but in a different style. So I will turn fill off, turn stroke on, and draw a simple circle outline. You might have wondered about this selection tool modes here, right next to the toolbar. We're going to dive into them now. This mode scales any shape proportionally, but the true power of this mode is revealed when used in combination with the shortcuts we learned so far. So if I scale while holding down option, I scale and duplicate at the same time. Which allows me to create a stack of concentric circles like so. Okay, now I think we're missing another triangle here. So let's go back to shape tool and select the polygon this time around. We just need to make sure we change the number of sides to 3 by making use of the settings slider. Let's 
looks a bit too flat at the moment, so let's see what we can do to fix that. We can rotate it by using this orange handle at the top. Notice the degree of rotation is displayed in this grey box here. Super helpful for any precise designs. Going back to our selection tool, we find the rotation mode here as well. But the cool thing about this is that you can change the pivot point of your rotation anywhere on the canvas by dragging and dropping this grey bubble. To give it that extra push, we can round up the corners so they match the vibe of all the circles we got going on. I'm using this slider in the inspector. Stop whenever it looks right to you. The last thing I want to show you is another combo action. So we looked at scale and duplicate, now let's look at rotate and duplicate. While rotating, hold down the option key, so now you created an identical shape to the one selected. One extra gesture we can learn is snapping the rotation every 45 degrees, which looks something like this, when we're holding down shift. I want this object to be a bit more complex. So let's select everything and duplicate and rotate one more time. And that's it. You can use all the techniques we've learned today to add more interesting elements to your design. This is how I created the entire landing page you see here. You can find a list of all shortcuts by going to the help menu. But as always, practice is the best teacher, so you will learn by doing in no time. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more episodes. Next one will be all about editing tools. I'll see you there.